The AK-47 Kalashnikov rifle has gone through a lot of changes since 1947. Uh, and many of those have been done right here in the U.S. Which, uh, with different stock systems, rail mounts, uh, different finishes, just like this RAS from Century Arms has a black nitride finish. Of course, I've got the Magpul uh, new AK stock system and, you know, you've got AK mags. There's just a lot of different things that you can do to these rifles. But one area that's really important uh, is the muzzle brake or recoil reduction. And of course, you know, you have your standard Soviet types, which the crank or the slant brake. And this actually came off one of my rifles here, a little birdcage. Uh, of course, there's a ton of different designs out there. But what we're going to look at today is the JMAC Customs RRD4, and this is the AK muzzle brake. There's a lot of cool features about this that separate it from a lot of the brakes out on the market. JMAC Customs out of Elkview, West Virginia, is a manufacturer of a lot of different accessories for the AK-47. And Justin and Ash, um, in fact, they have a pretty popular YouTube channel as well, and uh, they demonstrate a lot of different muzzle brakes and parts for the AK-47. Kalishnikov. This is the RRD4, and the reason why it's four is because of the four ports. Uh, they had an original prototype that had three ports, but this seemed to be what was really fitting the bill for what they were looking for. Uh, one of the big things that this is, that this does not do, is it's not a massive compensator because when you have you know, full compensation, typically you have a lot of muzzle flash and a lot going out on the sides, which you're going to have some of that with this. But this is kind of like an in-between, the best of both worlds. So what it's really going to do is going to keep muzzle rise down. Uh, that's what it's designed to do. Now, we're going to look at it at the range, and I'm going to test it next to the original uh, slant muzzle brake that was on the RAS-47. I really like, typically, the slant muzzle brake because it does hold the muzzle down. But one of the things that it does do is it gives you cheek slap. And part of that is because the, the barrel is forced down because of the gases, and that comes back on your cheek. And this definitely helped mitigate uh, that recoil on your cheek. The brake is made from 17.4 pH stainless. This is a little superior product than a lot of the brakes that you're seeing out there. It's going to keep corrosion down, obviously. And it's hardened with an anti-corrosion uh, nitride finish, which is a black nitride, uh, which has really proven to be a big favorite with finishes. Uh, in fact, I really love the smoothness of the black nitride. Uh, it weighs 4.4 ounces and it's two and a half inches in length, but it only adds an inch and a half uh, to your barrel length. Of course, they are made in the USA, so that means that they are 922R compliant. It counts as a US made part uh, for 922R regulations. It has slots for your detent on your barrel at 0 and 180 degrees. One of the great things about that is sometimes you can line it up and you still have some play in the barrel. You can go ahead and bring it on around and hit that next detent. JMAC Customs logo here and then on the back the RRD4 and then of course USA. Um, one of the things about these ports and they did a lot of studying with this with slow motion cameras and and other things to get it just right the gases are captured as it goes right down through the muzzle brake and if you'll notice it starts out with a thin slot and then it gets progressively more open uh, the diameter here is a, is actually a little bit larger just in case because the way the muzzle brakes fit on the AK with the detents uh, typically there's some variation with different manufacturers these have been tested in barrel lengths from 8 inches to 24 inches and it reduces muzzle flash in all the barrels that were over 11 inches so as you progressively get out it's going to help with the muzzle flash the traditional slant muzzle brake on your typical AK is made to divert gas to keep the muzzle from rising. Just helps with muzzle rise, especially in full automatic or rapid fire. Uh, with this little cover right here, it, especially if you're shooting prone, it keeps from dust flying up as well. Uh, with the RRD4, there are no ports in the top of the muzzle brake. Now, because of the way this was designed and to allow gases to be released more slowly, uh, it decreases the muzzle rise but also it decreases the felt recoil back to your shoulder. Uh, but one of the things about having ports in the top and with the slant muzzle brake is because it's forcing the barrel down, at the rear stock it forces it up, kind of similar to this. So you're relieving cheek slap with this style muzzle brake over your slant muzzle brake.
Now we're just going to shoot it just holding the grip to see the difference. Definitely a much bigger difference, a lot more push. Um, it was bumping into my shoulder with the JMAC comp, with the slant brake. I mean, it was punching it pretty good. It's still keeping the muzzle down, but it's definitely taming the recoil. The slant muzzle brake definitely helps with recoil. Uh, with the gases that naturally shoot to the right, it kind of forces it to shoot back and stay level. Uh, th the uh, JMAC comp is really good about keeping the muzzle low and keeping the recoil that's coming back to you it's taming it so definitely a large advantage especially if you're shooting rapid fire this will help keep the muzzle down but it definitely doesn't help with the recoil coming back on your shoulder whereas the jmac does and we were using american eagle 7.62 by 39 uh, you know it may be a little bit of a difference with the standard you know wolf or you know steel cased ammunition sometimes that's pretty hot uh, but the American Eagle had a pretty decent punch to it. I'm going to shoot some of the Tula. You could definitely tell the difference at the range. Shooting it, it's definitely softer shooting. The slant comp keeps the muzzle down for sure. Keeps it down, uh, but with that coming back on your shoulder, this even relieves that. So it does both excellently. These are available in different thread configurations, 26 millimeter and 14 millimeter left hand and right hand. It's also available in half by 28 and also 5 eighths by 24. Uh, so there's a lot of different variations that you can use for this. And of course, the half by 28 and 5 eighths by 24 are U.S. right-hand threads uh, for the AR-15 and for the 308 AR-10. And a lot of U.S. threaded barrels will fit uh, those configurations. Of course, when you're putting it on your AK, your th the threads are typically left thread. So it's a little bit different, you know, growing up with right is tight, left is loose. You see it catches on the detent, just push down and continue until you get to the right place. And this allows you with that extra mark to really get in there tight. On the jmac-customs.com website, uh, the price is $92.95. It has everything to do with the materials, the black nitriding, and the machining that goes in to making these ports work the way they do. Uh, yes, you can get some much cheaper comps out there. But if you really want something that's really highly effective and U.S. made, this is an excellent muzzle brake. Now, I have a link below for jmaccustoms.com. Check it out. There's a lot of different features. If you love to shoot the AK-47 and all the different variants, you'll really find a lot of cool things at JMAC Customs. So the JMAC Customs RRD4 compensator for the AK-47, thumbs way up. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Just a really cool little um, on the JMAC dash cost on the JMAC dash cost customs on the DMAC DMAC RRD4 meet R2D2.